This recipe draws big inspiration from Jess who runs a blog called Plays Well With Butter. The link will be in my bio. This pasta is perfect for the season. It is creamy, hearty and warm. The sun-dried tomatoes pairs brilliantly with the basso and the creamy cashew sauce to give you that perfect five-star meal from the comfort of your home. If you'd like to take a look at the ingredients, pause this video now, else they're in the description box. All right, let's go. First, we're going to boil the pasta as per the packet instructions. You want to throw in a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of olive oil as well. While the pasta boils, we are going to make the sauce. If you've made it this far, please smash that subscribe button, smash the like button if you enjoyed this video, click this mill, tell me how you found it on any of my social media, which is in the description box below. Okay, sauce time. First, we're going to take our two cups of cashews and put it in the blender. Up next, we're going to take our two cups of fresh basil and toss that straight into there. We're then going to put in our three gloves of garlic, one fresh pepper, a teaspoon of salt, then we are going to squeeze our lemon. If you do not have this fancy device, use a sieve. What is important is that the seeds do not get in there. For this, you want to use a high-speed blender, okay? So now we're going to pour the juice into the blender. We're going to put our two cups of water into the blender as well. And we are going to blend this whole mixture until it is completely smooth so that we do not have any chunks or lumps in our sauce. Smooth. <laughs> this is cooked. We are going to drain and set aside the starchy water. See notes in the description box. Now that the sauce is ready, we're going to put five tablespoons of olive oil in the skillet. We're going to wait for it to heat up before introducing our diced medium-sized onions. Now we're going to throw in our red bell peppers, one teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of black pepper, which I absolutely love. Now we're going to saute this till the vegetables become soft, which should take about two to three minutes. That is all done, so we're going to throw in our watercress and our sun-dried tomatoes. For um, sun-dried tomatoes stored in oil, see the notes in the description box. Stir this till the watercress wilts. It has wilted, as you can see, so we're going to introduce our four cups of broccoli florets and saute this for about 30 seconds. Now we're going to introduce a beautiful creamy basil sauce into the mixture. It is a bit thick, but not to worry. Just turn this all in till it is combined. Now you're going to take the starchy water from the pasta and put this in. Be careful not to water. I love this. You could do this in steps till you reach your desired consistency. Now we're going to take our pasta and put it in the pan. If you've made it this far, please subscribe and smash that like button. Now we're going to combine this. This was still a bit thick for me, so I took some more of that starchy water and poured it in there to achieve my desired consistency. Now you're going to turn this till it is ready and boom, boom, pow, it's ready. Time to dish this meal. This smells so nice, I can't wait to dig in. Anyways, if you've made it this far, I really do appreciate you. Please smash the subscribe, notification, and like button. It really does go a long way to making my videos more visible. If you've already done that, thank you. Please cook this meal, send me pictures, let me know how you found it in the comments, interact with me in the comments as well. Bye.